guys, today we're going to be making a marshmallow launcher. What's the science behind a marshmallow launcher? Well, the science is that you have potential energy. Potential energy is just any energy that you have stored. And it can be anything that isn't moving. This pencil, this rubber band, even this duct tape has potential energy. It's called potential energy because it has the potential or the ability to create energy. When you have energy, when you see it, it's called kinetic energy. And that's when anything moves. Anything moving has kinetic energy. If I'm moving my arms around, I have kinetic energy. If I'm super still, I have potential energy. When you shoot this marshmallow launcher, you're turning potential energy, the launcher, and energy from inside your arm to kinetic energy by pulling this back and letting it go. Then the marshmallow flies across the room. Let's get to making a marshmallow launcher. The supplies you're going to need to make a marshmallow launcher are two short tubes. You can get these from toilet paper. Some medium sized marshmallows. Small marshmallows work too, they just don't work as well. Duct tape, decorative duct tape, this is optional. Regular tape, this can also be your decorative duct tape. Scissors, a ruler, and two pencils. One that's dull, like uh, not sharpened, and one that is sharpened and sharp. Now, let's put it all together. The first step to making your marshmallow launcher is taking one of your tubes. You're going to take one of your tubes and your ruler. You're going to measure three-fourths of an inch, and you're going to mark it with your sharp pencil. Right there. Then, you're going to measure a finger away from that fourth of an inch, three-fourths of an inch mark. So do a finger, mark that. That's where the next mark is going to be. Now you're going to line up the ruler and do another three-fourths of an inch. Just like that. Now you're going to cut a slit above both of the marks so that now you have a flap like this. Like that. Now you're going to go exactly opposite of that and do the same on the other side. I'm going to do that and then I'm going to come back. Right there, and one finger away, and right there. And then you're going to cut that too. Now I have two flaps exactly opposite of each other. We're going to set the first tube aside. The next tube, we're just going to cut straight down the middle. Now it looks like a hot dog bun. You're going to roll this tube up inside the other like this so that it's about half the size it was. You're going to want a piece of tape ready because you're going to take this. Or if you don't have a piece of tape ready, you can just hold it under your arm. Grab the tape and just tape that together. You're going to need several pieces of tape because you don't want this part to break apart. Once you have that, you can decorate your uh, first tube with your decorative tape. And to do that, you're just going to take, you can decorate however you want. You're just going to take your tape, put it on, and wrap it all around the tube. You can do that as many times as you want, decorate as much as you want, or you can use washi tape. Or you can even decorate with glitter and glue if you want to. So it'll look something like that. Now you're going to take this tube and you're going to poke two holes in it on either side. You're just going to put your pencil in, poke one hole, and then you're going to poke a second hole. If this is difficult, get a parent's help. You can also use a hole puncher if you have one at home. It works best. 
So now I have two holes in the side of my small tube. So I'm going to take my dull pencil, the one that's not sharpened, and I'm going to put it through both of them. Then we're ready to move on to the next step, putting it all together. Now that you have finished making and decorating your outer and inner tubes, you're going to take two rubber bands and your tubes. You're going to fit the um, smaller tube into the bigger tube, the opposite end of the flaps. So like that. Then you're going to take the flaps, you're going to put them out a little bit, take a rubber band, put it into the flap so it looks like that. And you're going to pull it and put it under the pencil like this so it makes it taut. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to put the second rubber band down and under the pencil like this. Your flaps are going to stick out though. So what you're going to do is you're going to take another piece of tape to secure it. And you're going to put it over the flaps so that they don't... Um, fall apart. So you're just going to do that with the other side. And then you are done making your rock marshmallow launcher. I do advise that you don't put the tape inside of flaps, just on the outside, because if you put them on the inside, right in here, the marshmallow is going to get stuck. Now it's time to test your marshmallow launcher. We explained how the marshmallow launcher works. We're just going to put a marshmallow inside. You don't want it to be too big. You want it to be able to easily fit in the top part of this. Then you're going to take the potential energy from your arm and pull the tube back like this so your marshmallow sinks in, but don't let go yet. So all of this has potential energy. Now when I release it, it's gonna create kinetic energy and it's gonna make it go flying. If you want to make this project even more fun, you can paint a target or even tape a target with your duct tape to see how far you can shoot and how accurately you can shoot your marshmallow shoot. In this video, you learned what kinetic energy is, potential energy is, and how this marshmallow launcher uses it. You also learned how to make this marshmallow launcher. Goodbye, little information technologist, and remember to stay creative.